It's Lead Poisoning Prevention Week and county health departments across the southern tier are making people aware of the dangers of lead. Every single house in the historic district has lead in it. Experts say if the home you live in was built before 1978, it's likely that lead paint was originally used. The dust in the chips from the paint can expose you to lead and cause health issues. But also in the soil um, surrounding homes that have been either painted with paint on the exterior that had lead or in areas around um, manufacturing. With plenty of older and historic homes in the Corning Elmira area, many locals are at risk. Almost 80% of all houses in Elmira alone were built before 1950. It's, there's no question on that. This home, that home. If your home was built before 1978, get the paint tested and double check your water pipes. There are um, lead um, testing kits that you can find at your local hardware store. Young children are most at risk for lead exposure. Um, children are more susceptible because, you know, they're always touching things, putting things in their mouths, um, playing in soil. Exposure can affect cognitive development in kids and is linked to learning and behavioral issues as well as hearing and speech problems. So overall, it's just a really large detriment to a child's health. Um, children should be tested um, or have their blood tested at ages one and two. If you do live in an older home, public health says to reduce exposure by having good hygiene and cleaning up dust and debris using a wet wipe. Keeping windowsills clean, washing hands, sweeping up after um, if you do some renovation. For more information and resources, check out your county's Public Health Department Facebook or official website. Sonia Ellison, Big Fox News, The Southern Tier.